<laughs> I forgot what it was like to be on a motorcycle. What's that? I forgot how to start it. It's been a while since I've been on the Tracer 7. And I remember it being an excellent motorcycle at the time. But I did not remember how excellent this motorcycle is. The weight of it, the geometry of it, the wheelbase, the power, everything is just so in sync. just a scalpel it just slices through exactly where you want it to go and the counter steering see I was talking about counter steering you push and you turn 17 inch front wheel which means it's not too small to make it really twitchy but it's not too big to make it cumbersome shake off the cobwebs. I swear to God, this is probably the purest motorcycle available for sale currently. And all this fucking bullshit modes and technology and this, that, and the other thing, everyone has forgotten. Even Yamaha in their higher end bikes have forgotten what it is to make a pure motorcycle. And Somehow, this has eked out of the factory and remains stalwart in this bullshit age of overtech and overthinking and overpower. It's just such a quintessential motorcycle. It's such a great bike. I have to really put my money where my mouth is and just buy one of these because it's such a great bike. This bike is a unicorn. This bike is a gem. They don't make motorcycles like this anymore. I can't understand. I can't overstate how special and pure this motorcycle is. Dual discs on the front. There are bikes that cost four grand more than this that have single discs. There are bikes heavier than this that have single discs. It's a bullshit budgeting exercise. The responsiveness, the steering, the weight, everything about this is so dialed in for my preferred riding, my height, the length of my arm, everything about this. The seating position is not aggressive, but allows for you to really open the throttle.
Ni ala. If you like that video and you want to see more like them, hit like, share and subscribe.